Hi everyone, in this video let's see how to run different versions of Euro Truck Simulator 2 side by side in a single PC. Now you know different versions of Euro Truck Simulator 2 are individually popular because of uh, the restriction of modes to be used in each version. So it's obvious that somebody would want to run more than one Euro Truck Simulator 2 versions in the same PC. Personally, I run uh, all the versions starting from 1.30 to 1.40 because I create and test modes for all these versions. So we'll see two options to do this, right? The first option if you are having uh, or you have originally purchased this game on Steam. And the second option if you're using uh, downloaded or cracked versions of Euro Truck Simulator 2. We will see both options one by one, okay? Let's say for the first option, you're running Euro Truck Simulator 2 in Steam. So go to Steam and go to your library and you can see the Euro Truck Simulator 2 option, right? Right click here and take properties. Now in the beta tab, you can see all the versions being listed. Now if you have chosen none, right? That basically means you will be running whichever is the latest version of Euro Truck Simulator 2. That means for now it will be 1.40. In some time it will be changed to 1.41 because 1.41 public beta is already out. I'll just cancel it because it will start downloading. Yeah, so what I'm saying is whichever version you want, right? Let's say varying from 1.26 to 1.27 till 1.40, whichever version you want, you can choose that version and for now I'm using, and you can see here, right? Temporary underscore 1.31. So whichever version you want to run, just choose that version and uh, Steam will automatically update or download the necessary files for that version. Now one thing you need to keep in mind is each time you change the version, few GB rate, maybe one or two GB of data will be downloaded because it is it needs all the differential files. There is no option to keep all the files simultaneously. Now there are different ways that I've tried before like backing up the installation files for each version but it doesn't work properly. Steam will tend to download the new files again. That's why uh, each time you change, want to change the version you need to uh, consider downloading the downloading few installation files again. So you change, you pick the version you want to play here and then you press, let's say you want to run at 1.36, you just press 1.36 and press update. Then it'll automatically it'll start updating and it'll install to the newest version. So that way you can choose any version to play in Steam. And once you're done, once you're done here, right, uh, you need to like directly play. So it'll be playing 1.31 version or whichever version you've cho chosen. Now we'll see if you're installing like separately, right, with a cracked or downloaded version, how to do it, right? So what you need to do is I have a setup file for 1.31 here, the same one that we covered in our previous installation video. So whenever you're installing Euro Truck Simulator 2, uh, you will be installing to a particular directory, right? So change that directory to a particular version name. So what I'm saying is if you're by default installing Euro Truck Simulator 2 folder, make it Euro Truck Simulator 2 1.31 or something. So here, if I go next, right, I have a per installation directory here. Just change it to Euro Truck Simulator 2, one, since this is 1.31 version, right? Change it to 1.31 and press OK and install. Or if you already have installed, right? For example, uh, I have 1.31 and 1.40 installed here in my directory. Here. So whenever, if you already have installed it in Euro Truck Simulator 2, just rename it with some different name, like some other name. So what my point is, each installation you do in different directories. And whenever you want to run that game, even if you have uh, like desktop shortcuts, because that shortcuts will be replaced because the shortcut name is same, just remove all the desktop shortcuts and run the game from here itself. In bin, you will have like x64 and you will have Euro Truck Simulator 2 here. Either run the game from here or just create a desktop shortcut. Create a desktop shortcut and then rename it as 1.31, right? Do the same thing for 1.40. Like go to the folder where you install 1.40 and then here send this as a desktop shortcut and then rename it as 1.40. So this way you can run any version, right? Keep in your mind, you need separate installation file for each version. So how many versions you want run, install all them at different folders, in different folders and either run from the folder 
or you create a separate shortcut for each uh, versions to the desktop and run from there. Now that's about the installation. Now the second thing what we need to cover is the documents or runtime documents. So every time you run a Euro Truck Simulator 2 game, right? In your documents, a folder will be created named Euro Truck Simulator 2. Inside that, you will have uh, different things like you will have your uh, profiles, you will have all the modes and everything. Now the profiles, modes, all these will be different for each versions, including controls, including uh, game features and everything. Because each version we get an update, right? So you maintain a Euro Truck Simulator 2 folder for each version. So as you can see right i play from 1.3040 so i have folders for each version so whenever i am running for so currently i have 1.31 in my library set right so whenever i am running for 1.31 i just rename this folder as euro truck simulator 2 so that ets2 the game will be pointing to this folder and why it will pick all the profiles for 1.31 and modes for 1.31 and whenever I'm running for, let's say 1.36, right? I'll I change this version to 1.36, re-download, or I'll run the 1.36 installed uh, exe file. And just before that, I'll rename this folder as, sorry, 1.31 itself. And I'll rename the 1.36 version or whichever one, the corresponding folder as Euro Truck Simulator 2. So each time the game will be picking this folder name, right? That's why here now I have the profiles for 1.36 and all the modes and settings for 1.36. This is the way you need to ins install and sidely run multiple versions of your test. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much guys for your time. See you in the next time.